Just a few weeks ago, a Catholic mystic cited a message from heaven, warning of severe winter in the West. It's happening now. Last December 23rd, CNN quoted the US National Weather Service thus, The cold is coming for many. More than 175 million people are under wind chill alerts from across much of the central and eastern US. The life-threatening cold temperatures and dangerous wind chills will create a potentially life-threatening hazard for travellers that become stranded. On the other hand, Fox News reported that a dangerous winter storm moving across the country US has disrupted holiday travel from the skies to the stations as cancellations and delays surge into Christmas weekend. As of Friday morning, Many airlines, the Amtrak train service and bus services were reporting changes and cancellations across the country because of severe weather conditions. At least four deaths from vehicle crashes have been connected to Winter Storm Elliot as well, as road conditions have worsened nationwide, it said. No, I do not find vindication in such unfortunate events. Rather, I would like to stress that the messages from heaven, as quoted by Catholic mystics, are saying that chastisements, triggered by sins, can be assuaged by conversion towards God, among other related prescriptions. The mystics, under the guidance of priests, have continued to receive messages from heaven as Christianity prepared to celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ last December 25th. To mystic Valeria Caponi last December 21st, our Blessed Mother said, Dear little children, how I love you. Look forward to the anniversary of Jesus' birth from the depths of your hearts. It is wonderful for a mother to see how much love you feel for her son Jesus. You give me so much joy and I will pray for all your prayer groups so that all your distant brothers and sisters at least on this anniversary, would remember my son's coming among you and pray to him from the depths of their hearts. I am counting so much on group prayer. You cannot imagine how important this way of praying is for me. It is true that personal prayer is important, but group prayer represents total love for my son and myself. We listen to you and are happy to satisfy all your requests. My children, so many of your brothers and sisters will obtain salvation because of your insistent requests to Jesus. I love you so much for this and I share all your requests that go to convert so many of my distant children. Continue to take interest on a spiritual level in all your friends and acquaintances and I will make all of this known to Jesus. At this time when you recall his birth, be more amiable towards my most distant children, and I believe that my son will be the tender-hearted infant for you. Thank you, my children. Continue to love those of my children who are furthest from God. I bless you, I thank you, and I love you more and more. And then, as usual is in the case of the messages being coursed through stigmatist, mystic, and third-degree Augustinian, Luz de Maria de Bandila. The messages were rather ominous last December 23rd. The message again from St. Michael the Archangel said, Beloved people of our King and Lord Jesus Christ, I am sent by the Most Holy Trinity to reach the heart of humanity who, as God's people, must save souls. In commemorating the birth of our King and Lord Jesus Christ, Every human being may place their whole physical and spiritual being before this divine child, so that with a person's fervent desire, he would be transformed by love, truth, goodness, charity, 
and all the gifts and virtues with which the infant Jesus adorns his children. Children of our King and Lord Jesus Christ, humanity continues living in a chaos of unstoppable violence that spreads from one person to another, sometimes consenting to it without knowing why, but merely in order to imitate their brother's behavior. This is the intention of the powerful, to see to it that the human race would self-destruct in terms of morality, society, spirituality, food and economics, so that, due to such a weight of inappropriate acts, human beings would renounce the Most Holy Trinity, our Queen and Mother, and despise everything that reminds them of the Divine, blaming God for everything that happens. As we commemorate the nativity of the infant Jesus, evil is assaulting humanity more forcefully at this time than in the past, in view of the proximity of what our Queen and Mother has been warning you about for so long. It is human beings who have given free rein to their human will, going down various wrong paths that have led them to this moment. People of our King and Lord Jesus Christ, as we commemorate the nativity, the affairs of mind do not stop. Conflicts continue, persecutions increase, and the unexpected will occur due to constant warfare on the part of evil, which humanity is allowing to undermine its life. Pray. Pray for Mexico. It will suffer due to nature. Pray, pray, pray. Pray without stopping for Brazil. Your brothers and sisters need your prayers. Pray. Pray for strength for all humanity. Pray. Pray for Europe. You urgently need to pray for Europe. It will suffer due to nature and man himself. You have a rocky road ahead of you. A single religion will impose itself on humanity which easily surrenders to innovations. Human creatures forget that the cross of our King and Lord Jesus Christ is impregnated with the salvation of every human being and that it is only on the path of truth and repentance that you can find salvation. You forget that our Queen and Mother drives away the devil. He fears her and our Queen and Mother is attentive to her son's people. You are on a path filled with every temptation, with the snares of evil, with the insinuations of evil, and evil knows that this is the time for it to take its spoils of souls. You must be strong and firm as not to fail. Children of God, remain attentive and do not be careless because from one moment to the next, there may be a conflict planned in advance. Without exposing yourselves in the midst of strife, each one of you should keep calm and stay where you are until you find a safe opportunity to leave, if you must do so. My legions are attentively waiting your calls to come in haste. Children of our Lord and King Jesus Christ. A great sign from on high is now coming. Each one of you knows that divine protection is over humanity. Divine mercy is infinite. Ask our King and Lord Jesus Christ for it to penetrate within you and give him permission to make of each one of you a new creature so that you would succeed in overcoming the many trials that humanity has brought upon itself. Adore the infant Jesus in the manger, in every home, in every place where he is correctly represented. My legions are caring for each one of you. I bless and protect you with my sword held high. 